Ever since the start of my Linux journey, I've been using Kiri as my terminal emulator. Kiri is this really cool terminal emulator with all of these features, right? And I've been using it for a very long time. And today I decided to switch to Alacrity as my main terminal emulator. And today I'm just going to go through the reasons why I switched to it as well as my experience with Alacrity. So starting with what is Kiri. So I'm just going to go through a brief overview of Kiri. Kiri is this really powerful terminal emulator that has all of these cool features, right? It's got tabs, it's got splitting, it's got image support, so you can render images uh, inside of your terminal. It's got all of that. And Alacrity is a way more simple terminal, right? And it's also very fast. Alacrity is probably the fastest terminal emulator that I have ever used. Aside from ST or Symbol Terminal, I'll talk about that later. Now, I've tried a collection of terminal emulators. I've tried that ghosting thing. I have tried ST. And I've also tried some other ones that I can't really remember. Stuff like Western. Yeah, I remember using Western. And Alacrity is the only one that fits me best. Because it's the only features that I want in Alacrity. Right? So, I don't want image support. And uh, Alacrity also has this thing where if I make my window transparent, then it actually works properly with Tmux. Now, Kiri actually doesn't work well with Tmux at all. Uh, there's lots of problems with some key bindings. And also, when you make your Kiri window transparent, then this Tmux bar will also become transparent. And it will look weird because some parts are not going to be transparent. And so, the main reason why I switched to Alacrity was because it's way more simple, fast, and minimal, right? So I've been changing the programs I use from the ones that I used to use to all of these minimal programs, and Alacrity is one of those minimal programs. Alacrity also has this very cool feature where I can toggle on this mode called VI mode, and then I can use my Vim keys to navigate around. I can also use my Vim keys to individual mode and select this, copy that, you know, all of that. And I can toggle that with a key binding, control, shift, space. That's a really cool thing with Alacrity. And the configuration is also way more easier than Kiri. Now, Kiri is, has a very easy configuration. But the problem is that the default config is like 2000 lines long. There's nothing wrong with that because it's all documentation. But you know, with Alacrity, it's a very simple Tamil configuration, right? So right now, if I open up my Alacrity configuration, then you can see that here it is. And we're setting some simple stuff, right? So first, you've got your colors, which are all very, very simple to set. You just set these colors. And instead of a uh, traditional format where you have like color 0, color 2, color 3, it actually has these names, right? It has black, red, green, and that's really useful because now I know which color is which. With stuff like color 4, color 2, you have to memorize, like, yeah, color 2 is green, right? You have to memorize stuff like that. And then you have your font settings, and uh, by default, I think on Aqua Linux, it uses a very ugly configuration. It does come with a good configuration, but then it has all of the stuff that made me away from using Alacrity. Just because of the default configuration, it looked kinda meh. But that's mainly because of the font settings. The font settings was kinda bad. So I changed all of that. And then you have uh, your scroll back, which is something that most terminals don't have. Well, most of the modern ones do, but stuff like ST doesn't have scroll back, right? You can even set um, key bindings. So for example, you can set uh, the toggle full screen key binding. Now this is a super useful key binding, especially when I'm recording. So I can have this key binding that will toggle full screen for me. And you can sort of see how it just becomes this full screen window. This is not part of my Wayland compositor. This is just an alacrity feature that works really well. And then we have some settings to the window. I obviously set the opacity, which is something that I usually set to 1.0. But since the opacity is so good with Alacrity, I decided to do this. You can also set window padding, dynamic padding, blur, all of that, right? Blur doesn't work because my commercial doesn't support it. And you can even set animations and stuff like that for the terminal bell. But uh, the main feature here is that Alacrity is super fast in reloading the configuration as well. Because the way Alacrity works is that it's a live reloading config. 
which means whenever I change something in here, then it will automatically reload. There's no need for me to close and open. For example, if let's say I want to change this opacity to 0.7, I save that and you can see how it immediately changes the opacity. Let's say set that to 1. You can see that now it's 1. So it's a live reloading config. And if I put in something that doesn't actually exist, for example, this will probably not exist in that normal configuration and I open up Alacrity you can see that it will give us this next little error that's gonna say this thing uh, does not exist and uh, did you mean this or stuff like that right and Tomo is very easy to configure you also have the Alacrity website which documents every single thing on Alacrity right so it's got the configuration it's also got the install instructions right and you can see the features here so I didn't actually know about most of these features. So it looks like you can have the multi-window, rejects, hints, search, all of that. That's super cool. You even have another documentation for Alacrity, which is basically a separate documentation for Alacrity, I'm guessing. And that's it for the web. And that's also pretty much it for the configuration. Now you can add a lot of other stuff here in the configuration. You can add like the cursor customization, you can customize your cursor, all of that. And uh, Alacrity is a pretty cool terminal, right? It's super simple, it's super minimal, and I love it. So my experience with Alacrity has been very great. There hasn't been any sort of problems or bugs that I've been experiencing. Anyways, that's it for this video and see you later.